So I've been getting the question a lot lately, why are you doing this? Originally, this was basically the basis of a book I wrote. When my first child, Wyatt, turned two years old, he was sick. I mean, super sick. Um, and basically, we, we, we turned to it possibly being allergies and had to take, at one point in time, we took out wheat, dairy, egg, refined sugar, yeast, corn, and peanuts out of his diet. For, for I think for four months we did that. And I basically, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't believe I had to do this, but um, I had to read every single label. Um, and basically, I, I couldn't buy anything that was packaged. All that stuff is in all packaged foods. Um, but what I found out in through this diet is that refined sugar was by far the hardest thing for me to avoid. It was in everything. I mean, everything. It was insane. And I was just appalled. I turned around and realized at that moment that my child was eating an insane amount of refined sugar, which I mean, is just one of the most unhealthy things we can do for our own body and for our children's bodies. And I realized that even though I thought he was eating well, I really wasn't serving him that many vegetables. Like vegetables should be served at a minimum three times a day, um, or at least three servings. If you can't get it at breakfast, do two vegetables at night and one at lunch or something. But vegetables are a core building block of our nutrition and it should be what we primarily eat. And I basically turned around and realized there was no book out there that helped me eliminate sugar from my child's diet and increase vegetable consumption. So I came up with a cleanse that I originally called Toddler Cleanse, because at the time my kids were toddlers. And it basically is a cleanse that gets you down to one serving of refined sugar a day and three servings of vegetables a day for you and your children. And um, I sat on my desk for a long time. I just, my husband and I started our own company a couple years ago and it's been crazy. I just, <laughs> I haven't had time to really pursue getting it published. And honestly, my, my first choice is to write middle grade fiction. So um, I've decided to release this book that I wrote onto a blog, less, which I called Less Sugar, More Veggies, dot blogspot.com. And I am going to video dinners that I make every single night that show that I'm really trying to serve my kids more vegetables and no sugar at dinner. The one time my kids get sugar is they get it after lunch now. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm doing. So it's just, you know, and it's a struggle. Like this is not perfect. Like my kids regularly scream at me at night. I mean, they, they can't stand what I serve, but you know what? I don't care. I, what I serve is healthy. It may not taste like amazing, but it, it's what I can do with the time I have. And you know what? I think they respect that. At the end of the day, I think they know that I'm very busy. I'm trying my hardest. And you know what? They're starting to cook with me because they're finding some interest in it in terms of the fact that I wonder if we can make the food better than what mama makes, which is great. Like, go for it. I am not a good cook. I actually hate cooking, but I value cooking. I value how important our nutrition is and I want to do as much as I can for my kids and to provide them the best food there is out there. So that's my goal and you know we'll see where it goes. So enjoy and check out my blog. I highly recommend the cleanse. I think it's really easy and I have some fun tips and um, a great essay from um, one of my favorite girlfriends that tried the cleanse and kept her diary entries and it's hysterical. So anyways, till next time.